Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this with you guys. So, this is something I've whipped up in OpenSCAD, and I'll have this out actually on Thingiverse. So, I have a couple different sizes and configurations. So, one of the configurations I'll put out there is with all these holes in it, uh, because the idea is is uh, you have holes on the top, and then you have holes on the bottom. And then obviously, as you can see, things go through. And then what I've come up with are these pins. And what happens is these pins go through these holes in the front here. Actually, let me turn it around. And, and then hook into a pegboard. And so then this sits against the pegboard like this. And so I'll be have been running some um, uh, time lapses up here in the corner so you can see it printing. So kind of long story short, you print it sitting down on its uh, side like this. And I didn't use any supports. I did get a little bit of, of um, irregularity, if I don't drop all my stuff out of here, in the bottom of, of the holes here. So a little bit of elongation, but it really, uh, versus using um, supports, it's perfectly fine. Because you really don't see it down here, and it's really not that elongated. Because uh, I did do a version with supports, and it, I, I did, was not happy with the way it came out. Uh, I also used a brim on this one, but I think in the future I wouldn't use a brim. I had enough adhesion on the PEI to make it work, so it all kind of came out good. The other piece with this is I also have blanks out on Thingiverse. So uh, with this one, with uh, Open SCAD, I, I put the holes in it, but one of the things, I have blank ones with no holes in it, so you can take this into uh, like Tinkercad and you can come up with your own scenarios for creating openings in this, which I think is what's really kind of cool, is you can take this and you can make whatever you want out of it. Um, so if you want oblong holes for like plier, pliers, I'll spit that out, you can do that. If you want a big central hole for a flashlight, you can do that. Uh, you know, anything you can dream up, you can use with this because again, this bottom part will press against the pegboard and this top part will hold against it. And, uh, you know, depending upon the size, you'll have uh, anywhere from three to six or how many ever holes. Because what I'll probably do is, this is a 75 millimeter version, so it's 75 millimeters across. And and I have a 150 millimeter version, um, you know, so you can print, you know, both of these on a simple, you know, 200 millimeter uh, printer, so no worries there. And, you know, again, you can go, uh, you know, take the blank, and if you want it shorter, just go in your slicer, take it in Tinkercad, make it shorter, and just keep, you know, these dimensions the same. So you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller in Tinkercad, whatever you, whatever you need. Uh, the only thing you might have to be careful of in you know, making it bigger or smaller are the holes. So you want to make sure the holes are aligned uh, for your pegboard use. But if you're not going to be using it for pegboard use, it really doesn't much matter. Uh, because you could also screw this into wood, whatever, you know, if you don't want to use the pegboard. Now, I also include um, no extra shipping costs cost because it's going to be electronic delivery uh, these pegs now the way I designed these pegs I haven't cleaned these up too much they just came off the uh, printer I printed them on the Creality I've got I, I really didn't set the retraction I didn't know how these were going to come out I created these in an open S kit also so kind of a long story short and I might have two versions of these I'm not exactly sure at this time because what I calculated this distance for from the beginning of this piece to the beginning of this sphere is the the thickness of which this is three millimeters so you see this and then also the thickness of my pegboard which is 4.2 millimeters because the idea was is I wanted this to slide in to be able to collapse this piece be able to slide it in have it expand and then have the back side of the sphere hold against the pegboard so depending upon the thickness of your pegboard, these these might vary. So, and they're a different size pegboard. So I'm thinking about coming out with a couple different sizes of these, and depending. So it can match whatever pegboard you guys out there have, or you can mix up your own. Very simple. All I did is took a, a, an open SCAD, you know, cylinder, made a base, added another cylinder for that distance, put a sphere, and just split it down the middle with a one millimeter split. So, kind of a long story short, I made this the diameter of the hole, and then when you squeeze it, it obviously becomes a millimeter less, allows it to slide in, pops open. You can also pull it back out, works pretty good, uh, because if, if I take these off, and I'll do some overlays, make a mess on my bench here. But again, these, these simply press through here. Uh, it take, takes a little bit, and you can kind of see how this, this will work down here at the bottom. 
see if I can get this and then this will pop in now I have it you know just you know I mathematically set it up for three there's no big reason to hold this plenty if you think you need three go ahead with three um, but you know another larger version I think there's six you know I would probably go with three on the larger version but it's up to you however you want to do it they're cheap um, and they print out rather quickly so again pretty happy with this now I was in a little bit of a hurry to do this and get this all done so I printed these in uh, PLA uh, also I knew I would come off pretty pretty reasonable with the one millimeter split without doing a lot of work I probably will experiment with hips uh, on this or even maybe pet G for something um, got a little bit more rubbery or resiliency to it so anyways I'll try some different materials uh, but right now the, the um, uh, PLA is working fine I've got it actually set up on, a, on several different uh, pegboard pieces that I've created so anyways hopefully you found this interesting you found it useful I have a link to this out on Thingiverse so if you want to print it go ahead if you do print it hey post a make of it that's what i'd appreciate and uh you know again all those links will be down below so don't forget the swag shop is going to be in the corner subscribe button over there comment down below what do you think uh what else could i make like this i've got a couple other designs i got coming out along this line so stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel